Hi guys, I'm Julie Levers. I'm one of the owners here at the Horn of Plenty. And we'd like to take you through a virtual show around of our lovely venue so that you can get an idea of what your big day might look like. Horn of Plenty has a reputation going back over 50 years for amazing scenery, fantastic food, and a super helpful bunch of people who really will go above and beyond to make your day everything you want it to be. We do lots of different types of weddings. The small intimate wedding, maybe two, four, eight, ten people, right the way through to exclusive use of up to 90 guests in the main house or 150 guests in a marquee on the lawn. So just imagine arriving in your lovely wedding car, driving round the fountain, pulling up here in front of the main house with all your guests waiting to clap on your arrival. So come on in and let me show you the inside. So this is our drawing room, um, newly refurbished. We finished doing it up just two days before the March shutdown. Think of this as initially gathering pre-ceremony if it's not nice weather outside. Think of it as one of two public rooms for drinks, photos and canapes if it's wet. But mainly think of this as a quiet area for the evenings. So the party's happening next door, but this is kind of quiet conversations, older relatives, people who haven't caught up for a while. In winter, we have a lovely log fire burning, and this is a really lovely, cosy room, kind of whenever the weather isn't great. So this room starts off as our civil ceremony room. It's light and elegant, uh, lovely chandeliers, big bay windows. Um, so the bride will come down the stairs from one of our lovely bedrooms, and we're happy for you to decorate the banister with fairy lights or flowers. Then kind of bring you downstairs. Uh, when you're ready, put on the bride's entrance music, uh, get you to glide very slowly down to the front where hopefully your lovely groom is waiting um, and then the ceremony begins. After the ceremony you'll lead your guests out of the ceremony room. If it's fine we'll head outside for confetti shot. If it's wet everybody will go into the drawing room just for two three minutes whilst we move the chairs then you have two big spaces for drinks, photos and canapes. If it's a sunny day lots of Brides and grooms really dream of having an outdoor ceremony. Uh, we have stunning views here, lots of different suggested setups, but most commonly we'd have all the guests facing the valley uh, with the registrar's table at the front. So where we have a ceremony outside, we tend to keep guests on the main lawn to enjoy drinks, photos and canapes. However, if it's really hot, people do prefer to come back up and enjoy the shade of the big tree. So this is our lovely main lawn with stunning views across the beautiful Tamar Valley. And the Tamar is just gorgeous, whatever the season. Um, we get gorgeous frosty mornings here. The sun, sorry, the mist rises above the Tamar Valley. And in the distance, 40 miles away, you can see the transmitter at Bodmin Moor. Loads of ways to create your own vibe through lawn games. We've had all kinds of amazing days with clay pigeon shooting, space hoppers, mini golf but my favourite was a vintage fair with a tug of war, an egg and spoon race and a coconut chai. But worth mentioning we do have um, electric on the lawn and water so it, if you want to go the extra mile get some live music on the lawn and start your party early. Another lovely idea is falconry. We have a, an amazing entertainer um, who brings all kinds of different birds of prey to entertain your guests. So this is our wild orchard, a gorgeous bluebell field in May, but whatever the season, great for a couple of shots. And it's kind of classic Devon countryside, isn't it? Just beautiful. So this is our lovely restaurant where we'd have the wedding breakfast. There's lots of options in terms of layouts, depending on numbers. Um, for weddings over 30 guests, we tend to recommend a mixture of large circles and rectangles, each seating six to 10 guests. We tend to find that more sociable. This layout seats up to 44 guests. This will be the top table with the bride and groom sitting in the middle facing everyone. But of course, if you'd like a banqueting format, you can of course do that. For smaller weddings, again, loads of different options depending on how many guests and how you want it to, to work. We have all kinds of lovely shapes like bow ties and lollipop pops that we can talk to you about some of the time. For larger weddings, we expand into the bar lounge area with a combination again of rectangles and circles and we can seat up to 90 guests. Speeches. So many people get so worked up about speeches 
Um, they can be either before the meal or after the meal. Last year we were lucky enough to have lots of um, speeches outside after coffee, which everybody absolutely loved. It was delightfully informal, a bit of fresh air, um, everybody sitting with slightly different guests worked brilliantly. Most couples for the exclusive use weddings tend to opt for a DJ or a band, um, and that works best in the bay window. Where we've used that space for, as part of the restaurant, we have a very clever hatch door, so we're able to turn the room around in 15, 20 minutes, so no time at all. If you don't fancy a DJ or a band, you might want to consider a casino, either uh, in the bar lounge or in the library. We often have sparklers around the fountain, which is brilliant fun and really super cheap way of getting a fantastic photo. And we're very lucky that we can offer fireworks, which offer fantastic views over the Tamar Valley. The library here is ideal for non exclusive use weddings or afternoon weddings. We can offer you exclusive use of this room, the library, with an evening buffet, giving you a chance to catch up with loved ones. Okay, and then onto the bedrooms. I'd just like to show you three of our bridal suites uh, to give you an idea. But we have 16 rooms in total, all en suites, so that we can sleep up to 32 adults plus a handful of kids. This is room three, probably our most popular room for the night before the wedding. It's a lovely light room, dual aspect, um, and it's quite good fun being able to watch all your guests arrive. It kind of builds the excitement. And it's also a lovely big balcony uh, for your bridal party to enjoy continental breakfast before the big day. So this is room 11, another of our bridal suites. Um, lovely and private, big balcony, um, feeling of seclusion, and just imagine waking up breakfast in bed in this room. So this is room 15, probably our most popular bridal suite, and you can see the reasons why. Beautiful views over the walled garden, um, and peace, all you can hear is the birds. So that's it, thank you very much indeed for your time. I really hope that you're impressed with what we have to offer. If you have any questions, or if you'd like a sample cost estimate, please do get back in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.